thanks so much for tuning into another pretty motivated video yes i think this is like the permanent way that i'm gonna do these from now on so uh but anyway i am so glad that you tuned in because one of the funny things about becoming a vegan is you automatically think about all the deprivation like all the things that you can no longer have and one of those things for me was like southern fried chicken like i can't have that anymore like i don't want to eat the chicken but i really like the way this tastes and i love soul food and oh my god and uh do i really want to give it up no but do i really want to eat chicken no so what is a vegan to do well you are about to find out i have a southern deep fried cauliflower recipe that you are just going to die for so if you want to see the full recipe along with the full menu then stay tuned because it's coming up next <laughs> All right, all right. So we are starting out with potatoes. Now, I don't know about you, but Southern food just screams creamy, delicious mashed potatoes. And yes, so we are having those. Oops, oops, fumble. <laughs> but anywho, so we are starting out with uh, some potatoes here. You just wanna skin those, and then we're gonna chop those up and throw those in the pot to boil, okay? So we're gonna make some creamy mashed potatoes. Now, back in the Dizzy, I used to make this with like, you know, just regular dairy milk and uh, mashed potatoes, put some butter and all that good stuff. But we are gonna totally vegan these creamy mashed potatoes potatoes out okay so stay tuned for that the water is boiling it's hot 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 we got the potatoes in there so like I mentioned before we've got our potatoes here I've added a little bit of almond milk already non flavored of course and then we just want to mash those up I'm using a masher but you know that old school way is either you could blend them up with a blender or pull your fork out honey and put that muscle into it and get those potatoes mashed so whatever your method these are the creamy mashed potatoes all right so we're gonna set those aside now onto the collard greens yes so I do my collard greens totally different than I used to back in the Dizzy am I wearing that out maybe maybe not <laughs> so I just sprinkled a little bit of um, brown mustard seed into a pan I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there also adding in a little bit of cinnamon so this is what kind of gives them a little sweet flavor but not super sweet because cinnamon isn't super sweet but I love to cook my greens this way I do my spinach this way you guys have probably seen me do kale this way when you just saute your veggies and you know hot oil like I said I've got a a little bit of garlic in there as well for a good flavor so the brown see a little bit of garlic eventually we'll put some salt and pepper in there as well but we've got oil and we just want to get that in there and then you can toss the greens in this allows us to have a little bit of nutrient integrity which is basically a fancy way of saying we won't cook all the vitamins out of our vegetables this way so that whole old-school way of like making greens for hours boiling them in a pot yeah this ain't that now on to the corn <laughs> so I'm just using some frozen corn you know it's not as good as fresh corn you guys I'm using this organic brand but you know it is definitely better than canned corn so nothing super fancy with the corn here I just wanted it to you know add another vegetable to our plate so on to the main southern fried cauliflower yes yes okay <laughs> so uh you want to try to just um break your head of ca cauliflower and just go straight down so you kind of get these really large chunks that almost kind of mimic certain sizes of like chicken pieces that you might get and then for our batter we're just going to use about a cup of flour we're also going to add in some plant-based milk you know my plant-based milk of choice is typically almond milk um, so we're going to use some unsweetened almond milk about a cup or so of that as well but you just want to make sure that you get the desired texture that you want okay so kind of get that in there and like I said we're going to drizzle a little bit of almond milk in here you guys this is so legit like just looking at this I'm like oh my god oh my god oh my god it's gonna be it's gonna go down in the kitchen 
And so for the fun and for the taste, we get to sprinkle in a bit of pepper here, okay? And I'm totally eyeballing all of this, guys. Turmeric, so turmeric is so good for inflammation. You guys probably see me use this in multitudes of um, different recipe videos, but the cool thing about this one is this is what gives it that golden kind of chicken fried color that we're accustomed to. So this, the turmeric gives it that golden color. So we are adding a little bit of garlic powder and that's gonna give it a little bit more flavor for some added kick. We've added a bit of cayenne and then we've got our pink Himalayan salt and I'm just doing this pretty lightly. Don't wanna overdo it here. This big bottle, it doesn't have like a filter so you gotta be careful. So you just stir all of those together. You're gonna see it like change colors. You guys can kinda see the texture here as well. So, you know, like I said, if you need to add more almond milk, definitely do that. But just be careful not to get too much added in the beginning. But if you do, then feel free to add a little bit more flour so that you can thicken it. So in a saucepan on about medium heat, we are now adding our canola oil. All right, so you can wanna use a lighter oil and then we can throw in the cauliflower, just kind of put those into the heat. It's on about medium or high heat. And you know, the cool thing about this guys is the cauliflower just is coated with this stuff. So it works so perfectly. It stays on. There's no need to have anything else to bind it uh, to the cauliflower. So it's like perfect. Look at that big piece. Like that's like the big piece of chicken. Like does anybody have to give like the big piece of chicken to like their dad or the man of the house back in the day? I totally had to do that. So so anyway, that's the big piece of chicken, not so much chicken. <laughs> And so you just wanna kind of watch it, keep an eye on it, don't let your heat get up too high. Like I said, it's on about medium high heat, um, but definitely watch it, and then you can turn these over um, so that they get golden brown on both sides. Now, and if they stick together or anything, just break them up a little bit. And like I told you, you're gonna have different sizes with these things, so one of these looks like a little bit of a nugget. You got like the big mama hunk right there, the big piece of chicken, and then you got the little like, maybe medium size, maybe mama's on a diet, and then you got the little baby nugget right there. So I mean, you know, these are gonna be different in size, you know, and depending on the size of your pan, how many of those that you can fit in there at one time, um, just work with it, you know what I mean? But like I said, keep an eye on them. And then of course, just like you would with good southern fried chicken, you wanna let those, um, place those on a plated dish, like, um, you know, a paper towel, like with a paper towel underneath. Ooh, ooh, it's getting a little messy. Um, but we're gonna get the job done. So yeah, so definitely just plate those on a plate or some kind of dish with a paper towel to soak up the excess oils. And then um, we'll be ready to serve these in a little bit. And that is it, you guys. So we've got our greens. I had a little leftover gravy, so I kind of cheated. Uh, and I just put that over the mashed potatoes. So we've got our corn, we've got our greens, we've got our chicken, our southern fried cauliflower. Oh my gosh, you guys, like this is life. Like, I, I can't even, I can't even talk to you right now. Like, I'm so excited and so happy. I'm like, literally there is a vegan fat girl that lives deep down inside of me and she's just dying to get out, but I'm just keep keeping her in one ab crunch at a time, I promise you. But anyway, so if you love this recipe and you wanna try it yourself or have a friend and you think that they would love this recipe, then remember, sharing is caring, so definitely share this video with a friend. And of course, comment down below, let me know if you have some great vegan southern soul food dishes that you think I would love to try try because you know it's this back and forth thing between you and I because like we're in this thing together what okay anyway <laughs> 
So definitely comment down below, let me know, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I thank you so much for all your love and support and all the amazing comments that you leave. And to all of my subscribers, I love you guys, and special shout out to all of you across the pond. I see you, boo. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>